Astronomers announced the discovery of Kepler 22b, a planet orbiting a star, not unlike our own Sun, at a distance where life can thrive. The discovery was announced by a team of astronomers using the Kepler Space Telescope. Launched in 2009, Kepler's sole purpose is to hunt for Earth-like worlds around other stars. Unlike other telescopes, Kepler stares at a region of the sky in the constellation of Cygnus the Swan. Its 95 megapixel camera monitors 150,000 stars in its field of view. But Earth-like planets are impossible to directly image using our very best telescopes. They're simply lost in the glare of their parent stars when seen from such great distances. Instead, Kepler monitors the slightest of changes in brightness of the star as its planet transits in front of it during its orbit. Using this technique, Kepler has discovered 28 exoplanets, and as many as 1,500 possible new worlds are awaiting confirmation. Over time, the light from Kepler-22 briefly flickered by just one half of one one thousandth of a percent, once every 290 days. Astronomers quickly understood that this was a planet within Kepler-22's habitable zone. A habitable zone is a range of distances around a star where the temperature is neither too hot nor too cold to support life. A habitable zone around a hotter star would be farther out, while a habitable zone around a cooler star would be closer in. Given a star's temperature, there is an orbit where the temperature is just right for life. Kepler-22b's orbital period places the planet within Kepler-22's habitable zone. The star at Kepler-22 is almost identical to our own Sun, just 220 degrees Kelvin cooler. So its habitable zone is slightly closer, making Kepler-22b a strong candidate for finding life. Kepler-22b is 2.4 times the diameter of Earth, placing it somewhere between Earth and Neptune in size. But so far, we know nothing else. Not its composition, or even if it has an atmosphere inside of which life could survive. To answer these questions, astronomers will need to use different types of telescopes at optical and infrared wavelengths to determine what kind, if any, atmosphere might exist at Kepler-22b. At 600 light years away, we will not be able to visit Kepler-22b anytime soon to see for ourselves if life really does exist there. But that hasn't stopped the SETI Institute from using the Allen Telescope Array and taking a listen for any possible artificial signals coming from Kepler-22b, just in case. Meanwhile, the hunt for Earth-like worlds continues with the Kepler Telescope, and an ever-growing archive of data is being produced. And we need your help sorting through it all. PlanetHunters.org is a site where anyone can log in to examine Kepler's data and help identify the telltale signal of orbiting planets. Could Kepler-22b really be a second Earth? Well, that remains to be seen. But what is truly remarkable is that we are now able to detect worlds orbiting within stars' habitable zones. Kepler-22b is only the first of many more such worlds surely to be discovered. Life-bearing planets have long been speculated. Kepler-22b is a major step toward knowing they truly exist.